Hey, what's up guys? Bajira here. Now for this video, we're going to be checking out a game called Devillion, which is a free-to-play game. And it's a game that I've seen a lot of people ask me about playing in the comments recently. So when these guys reached out to me about giving it a shot and hosting some giveaways for you guys, and I was willing to do it. So, uh, for this gameplay, all I'm going to do is really going to be checking out the beginning of the game, um, seeing some initial thoughts, and uh, like I mentioned, doing some giveaways. So in this video, we have some little codes for some awesome devil wings for this game and a three-day experience boost as well so if you guys want to be entered into that giveaway just be sure to give the video a thumbs up be sure to subscribe and leave me a comment let me know what class you play or would like to play uh, in this game but alright let's go ahead and get it started it's gonna to connect to the first server that's available and I imagine we're gonna be doing some uh, some character creation here so you guys already know what kind of character I'm gonna be playing so you do have the choice between an elemental maven which is a mage with unmatched mastery over the elements uh, this evoker strikes fear into entire armies what they lack in durability they make up for with terrifying array of area attacks and debuffs that stop foes from ever reaching her so it says all this is a uh, is you know uh, talking about a female character so I guess these characters might be uh, gender locked but that's fine um, of course, this is my this is the class I intend to play, the the Berserker, an unparalleled blade master, a warrior gifted with immeasurable strength and stamina. The Berserker tears through waves of enemies with his twin blades. The longer he fights, the more ferocious he grows, using his rage to lay waste to anyone foolish enough to oppose him. Definitely the kind of class I normally play. That's what I plan to play. Then we have the Lonely Shadow Walker, the Shadow Hunter. A hunter who has learned to draw upon the darkness, the Shadow Hunter prowls the night, stalking the most terrifying prey. He uses his chain whip, his speed, and a variety of thrown weapons to great effect, allowing him to fight effectively in every situation. Interesting. Uh, you know, that's that's a class for people who, I guess, might want a little stealthier approach, or, you know, like, kind of like the roguey approach. But even then, he's using, like, a chain whip and range attack, so it's kind of like Castlevania-esque, I guess. Um, this is the Cannoneer, a diminutive sharpshooter. A sharpshooter armed with a weapon that, pu that pushes the boundaries of both magic and engineering. The Cannoneer lays waste to all who challenge her. Thanks to her weapon's innovative, selective fire systems, she always has the right shot for the situation. That does seem like a pretty cool class. I think that in this game is probably going to be like an action RPG style, just by the looks of it. And, you know, these ranged classes that have a lot of options in terms of AoE, single target, cutting potential are really good, like the Evoker and whatnot. The Shadow Hunter definitely seems powerful, but I, I gotta play the Berserker. That's pretty much my style of class in this kind of action RPG kind of game. Now, one of the things I noticed in the options was the fact that you could either play with WASD or do the right-click, left-click style. So, um, I, I have it set for WASD right now, but I might try the right-click, left-click pavilion preview. Whoa! Holy moly. So, do you... I guess that means that you can, like, you know, super evolve. I don't know much about this game. I'm, I'm coming into this pretty much as, like, a fresh, fresh experience, fresh gameplay for me, so... This is, a lot of this is new to me. I'm going to take this little torn up face right now. <laughs> this guy looks like he's been a few, in a few battles. Let's get him with... So you don't have a, like a bazillion character creation options? That's fine. I, I, I think with a game like this, it mostly is gonna, your customization is mostly going to come down to your gear and all that. Pretty much just want to get into the game. Let's give this guy some, some sweet tattoos. Let's give him some, some piercing, piercing green eyes. Let's name him uh, Bajira, if that name is available. Oh yeah, you can also take a look at different costumes. So those are pretty cool looking. Like a light and dark costume, perhaps. That's cool. Let's see if we can take the name Bajira. Nice. Oh, so we're in our little baby clothes. Oh, nice. I love the beginning of... Uh, I, like, I like action RPGs in general. Um, especially when I was younger, I played a ton of Diablo, and I loved that game. Uh, and having all these really nice, the new, free-to-play action RPGs, shattered, or just games in general, pop up is awesome. Let's look at this cutscene. God. As look the here. fragments fell... They corrupted the land. Ooh. But some of us Spooky. managed to master their fell power to become something more than human. Oh, wow. And lay waste to the Dark Lord and his legion of cool. devils. After the war, most of us vanished, leaving little but stories behind. Mm -hmm. But our back, world baby. is being plunged into Gotta chaos the world. once more. The dark sorcerer, Malik, seeks to summon the most powerful devils using the spear's fragments. Ooh, okay. Now their guardian turns to humanity's last hope. The That's us, baby. Heroes who That's us. The well, devils. maybe not that, partic that particular character model. Devillian. Oh, baby. 
All right. We have to save this lady. Oh, she's like summoning me into existence. Wow. I like the graphical style just upon first glance. It reminds me a little bit of like the like a like a torchlight kind of thing, just a little bit. Just in how that's like a little bit cartoony. I like that vibe though. So here's where you get to, to choose which way you want to play. I think that I kind of. I think that generally, for these games, the, the, the mouse click is good, but I've always been curious what it would feel like to play with WASD, so I think it's cool that, um, I think it's cool that they let you do that. So I'm gonna probably give this a try. Um, I'm still gonna have the direction of my skills be the cursor, though. An evasion skill, I'd still wanna be cursor. Um, but in terms of mouse movement, I'm not gonna worry about that, because I do wanna use WASD. That's cool that you could, that lets you do that. Alright, cool. So I'm gonna move around with WASD, nice. And then if I have skills, let's see, chop. Okay. Yeah. So you just you just move in whatever direction you want your character to attack. That's cool. But for this, I'm thinking now, just if I have to use these buttons, I might have I might just go back to the mouse click. That's cool though. Still it's still interesting. Let me see if I can change it real fast. Always was curious, but it's really easy to to fix it I think or to change it. At least it was before. Um, I don't know if I can do it. Here we go. Yeah, just go back to Davillion mode, I think. If I want to. Here we go. And it's, and it's all cursor aim based again, and then we just go back to doing this. Cool. Oh, yeah, easy enough. All right, let's continue. You must be the Davillion. Lara told me. It's got some voice acting in there. That's cool. We never thought they would attack us here. Let's see what's this. You and Alara have huh. to reach the inner sanctum and protect the chaos stone. Let's do it. So, like I was saying, I always loved these action RPG games, and especially like, you know, back when I started playing games, there weren't like a whole lot of like, if you wanted to play free-to-play games, basically, they were either terrible, or you'd play them on like a, like, you'd go like a Flash game website, you know? But now you have all these really, really cool, really nice looking, uh, free-to-play games out there like this one so that's pretty exciting and it's cool to be able to to check them out like a couple of years down the line where it's like damn my younger self would have been really pumped about these kind of games you know I still am you know plenty of reason to be pumped about them but it's, it's just pretty interesting to see how times change like so yeah I love I love the the, na the damage numbers popping up and plus there's like some super blood splatter which is pretty cool yeah this game definitely has like the vibe of it reminds me of like um, kind of like a vampire story kind of setting. And I think that we have reason to believe that. I mean, especially if we're getting all powered up. Oh, watch out! If we're getting all powered up by, you know, the fragments of a spear that was used to fight evil stuff, and then those fragments of the spear or whatever end up corrupting the world a little bit. Ooh, cash money. And we got some loots. Let's, see, let's check, check out those loots real quick. Help the guardian knights so, do we get a little upgrade here? Oh yeah. Uh, okay, yeah, there it goes. So it does give you a little ability comparison down there in the bottom. Great. We have some potions too. Those are bound to Q. Cool. Oh, I got a new ability as well. It's this one. Ooh, okay. A big cleave. That one does cost mana though. It looks like. It costs how much? R oh, rage costs 10. Okay. So we do, offer, we do operate off of rage. And you can see that rage slowly I'm decaying. Glad you're safe. We do not need you, Davillion. Um, the are you sure? <laughs> I don't know what that Oh, snap! No! Man, he got her. He wrecked all of those dudes and then escapade with the princess or whatever. Davillion, can you still hear me? Yeah. I mean, I, I, I could for a second there, but, you know, you faded out a little bit, having gone to the nether realm and whatnot. Get this out of my way. Battle start. <laughs> Womping on that siege engine. All right. Let's smack these guys. Up. Okay, I'm doing some deeps now. Wow. Wow. So th there's, it's it's not as bloody when I kill him with that thing. It's a, it's a little bit cleaner of a death. Oh, I can spam it too. Wow. I like this so far. But like I said, I, I love the beginning of these games because you just get to see like the the most the most basic form of the gameplay, how the game looks. You know, they're really getting you into the the style of the game. But there there are some elements to it, like almost like MMO elements that that, that remind me of like you know like how it has the battle start and whatnot. I think that's cool. 
And there's the the way that you that it gives you like those little mechanics to dodge is pretty cool too. Makes you feel like you're playing pretty sharp, you know. I like that. Get some cash money. I think I got some more loots. I got some gauntlets. All right, let's put them bad boys on. How's my stat compared? Oh, I don't even have gauntlets yet. Oh, and it, and of course it shows on your character. That's another thing. Like back in the day when I played these games, like you'd play. Or I would play like Secret of Evermore and Secret of Mana, which isn't really the same kind of action RPG, but you'd get new loot and it, and it wouldn't actually show on your character unless it was like a weapon. And then when I played Diablo, I was like, oh my god, it's so cool, it actually shows the armor, so... Kind of outdated mechanics, I guess, to be impressed with, but I, I still think it's cool. To constantly be able to change your character's look in, in these kind of games. Did you see the guys crawling up the side there? That was cool, too. I remember that sort of thing from Diablo. Like I said, I've played a lot of these action RPG games, but this one so far is... The gameplay is really smooth. Um, everything feels pretty good. I like I like the, the character models and the... the At least the little zones are, feel pretty atmospheric. I'm gonna kill these shamans first. I feel like these guys might be pretty bad. Pretty bad news before I can kill this guy. I guess this guy has like that little aura underneath him. I'm not sure if that's like a buff that he has or just like letting me know that he's kind of like a scary monster. That feels good, man. This 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 character can attack really fast, so I can just kind of kite around and smack people with those things if I need to. I haven't taken a whole lot of damage yet, um, but I'm at like like I said, this is just the beginning of the game, so I, I don't imagine it's going to be too crazy. Look at this guy. He says Q twenty versus twenty. I bet that's a, I bet that's like a PVP thing. Can you imagine that twenty versus twenty PVP in a game like this? That'd be pretty nuts. I remember playing. Um, one of the reasons I like Path of Exile so much is because I did have uh, the opportunity to, you know, do PvP in a in a game like this. So if this game is another one of those, another game that's going to be involving PvP in a uh, sort of action RPG style, that could be really really fun. You guys know me; I love PvP in every game. Pretty juicy crit right there. So the fact that PvP exists in these kind of games, I think it gives it a lot of longevity, because running around and killing monsters is great. Um, and it's fun, and you, you get better gear that way. And it's, and in this game, it seems like it could be, you know, something that you do with with your friends, and it can be challenging. But for me, in order for me to like really love a game and spend a lot of time playing it, it needs to have a PvP component. So it's really cool that these guys have introduced the PvP component into their game as well. Twenty v twenty though, in a format like this, could be absolutely nuts. I don't, I don't know what I don't know what level I get it, but I need some life steal on this character. And even though he's, this is a melee character, I'm still trying to, to, to kite a little bit just because I don't want to sit there and tank too much damage. Not enough rage. So, so now, now I'm going to generate some more rage. Because there's a lot of mobs here. You, you can, I think you can shift a shift click attack. Ooh. Yeah, it's trying, it's, I think it's trying to teach me that I need to drink potions, but I don't want to. I'm good. What's this? Oh, so they have little uh, collectible in-battle health pickups. That's cool, too. It's really good to know. So if you're scrapping, you don't always have to just use all your potions. You can sometimes just regen your health by stay oops, staying in the fight. Then just use a potion for no reason though. <laughs> the models of these characters look pretty good, man. Like they, they got that big old fiery fell appearance there. The double axe. I want some of those. Do I have a normal attack? I do. I have this now. I have avalanche rush on my uh, on my right click. Okay, gotta keep gotta keep that in mind. It does have a lot, lo like these don't have cooldowns on them, but these other ones do. Ooh, spin. Wait. You can space to do like a little dodge too. I didn't even notice that. That's really cool too. Because it looks like there's a lot of mechanics that you do need to kind of dodge out of, so. Let me use my avalanche rush. Whoa! Slash these guys up a little bit. If you use an AoE attack, I'll try to dodge out of it again. I'm getting whipped right now. Uh oh. Ho! Okay, so that is her attack. I'm gonna avalanche rush. Pow! Doesn't really seem to do that much damage, but I keep trying to like uh, just left click. That's not even an attack. So it looks like right now I'm just doing my boop. Let me get out of there. Doing my baseline attack, and the way that my character glows blue, it makes me feel like I have like an immunity frame or uh, like immunity frames yet. during that. It seems like it at least. All right, it looks like I got a green item. I got a pale moon plate. I'm probably need to upgrade right there. Get more health, more defense. So it's got physical, physical defense, magical defense, and fortitude. I bet fortitude's like a stat that gives you like more health and stuff like that. Always important in games like this. Got to keep those health values up at a nice level. No, they don't like that I'm attacking this thing. I guess I wonder if, if, if what we've done here is like pledged or plunged into 
the sort of demon room where that uh, lady was taken into. I think it was save the princess and whatnot. Ooh, I like the 3D the 3D terrain here. That's cool. This yeah, that definitely seems like a game that you'd have fun uh, kicking butt with your friends. What is this auto run business? Auto run not available here. So I guess that means that in some places, like if you had a quest that you just needed to run to, you probably could turn on the auto run and just sort of run to where your quest is. Which is kind of cool. Grab a drink or something. Just go go run to your quest immediately. Because I, I, we're in a dungeon right now, but there may be an, an amount of open world to this, too. Like I said, I'm pretty... This is the first time I've ever played the game, so all my experiences are new. I don't really have a lot of background knowledge of it, but it does feel good so far. It does feel like a lot of fun. And keep in mind that if you guys want to check out this game, it is free to play. But uh, I will also have those codes to give away. Let's give your character some sweet devil wings and some 50% uh, XP boost for a couple days when you're playing this game. So that's pretty sick. I probably should have redeemed one for myself, but I wanted to save them all for you guys. So <laughs> Even if I don't have the cool devil wings to actually show off, I'm sure that uh, if you guys leave a comment, be sure to give the video a thumbs up and subscribe. Then you'll have your chance to win and uh, get the devil wings and the experience boost of your very own. Oh, wow. That's cool. Give me a little... A little uh, let me know that I did a pretty substantial hit there. Ooh, okay, I gotta collect all these little things. The final door has opened. Oh baby. Oh baby. Oh yeah, she's uh, she's not doing so hot right now. She's about to get sacrificed or something. That's not good. Look back there. Like bloody, bloody energy mountain or something like that. Oh, okay. We're gonna fight this guy. An early on fight. Bye. I'm out of there. Nice try, guy. Can I hit him from there? I can. I think. Yeah, I'm doing some deeps. So he's gonna throw out little AOE orbs on the ground. Just gotta move out. Oh, not gonna move out of those and try to sneak in there for some attacks. Get out of there. Sneak in for some attacks. Get all the way out of there. Oh, he blinked too. Nice. I'm just gonna dump all my energy right here. I didn't get out of the way of that one. I get out of the way of this one. There we go. Get, get a chance to light him up. Just stick and move, baby. Just stick and move. Oh! Is he gonna come over here? You better, you better come over here, man. I can't hit you with all that fire and silliness. I have a little bit of rage. We're not human? Oh, no. I guess we're not. That's right. We got all jacked up on the Davillion juice. <laughs> Got all that demon spear power. So that's more like a ground AoE. It's just you can't stand in it. It's not like you can't ever... If you get hit by it, it's not going to kill you instantly, I guess. Oh, he's, we're, we're, we're impressing him right now. Get out of there. Woo! The combo! Hit me with that fire and the little blue AoE. We got to finish him off, man. We're in a corner right now. Let me charge him with this. Ow. There we go. Oh, we got some we got some weapon upgrades too, some pale moon blades, and we got level six. I gotta check out what you can actually uh, upgrade with your level up. I got physical attack, physical critical, and strength. Nice. Do they look any different? These ones don't look any different. Yeah. Oh, actually, they look. A, no, they look a little different. Yeah, they do. Cool. I bet the weapon models in this game will end up looking pretty cool. I do like the I do like the uh, animations and the, the, the graphics. The Highlands are under attack. If this is like a pl if this is a game where um, random world events pop up, kind of like uh, I remember with Rift, that'd be amazing. That 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 mechanic was so exciting. You know, it just it really makes you feel like the world is in peril constantly, and that actually makes it a lot of fun. <laughs> All right, so it looks like we're loading into a town now. Because that, that was one of the things I was curious about, is if this game did have open world elements too. Or if it was all instanced. Okay. Let's see. So this is who we wanted to talk to. Looks like it's just, it's just giving me an undershirt, but your undershirt actually have stats on it. Alright. So I'm going to talk to these guys for a little while, but the main thing I want to do is go kick some butt. What is happening here? Alright, so... We got one quest. Looks like there's another quest down here. Is this a, Are these players, or...? Some of these are definitely players. This guy's a questing knight. This guy's just gonna give me some cash money. Ooh, okay. I got one ticket to experiment inventory. Worth. Let's do it. Things are such a mess. Alright, I'm gonna put this on right now. This doesn't show because I guess it's an undershirt so far, but what is that? So there so there are mounts. Mounts confirmed. Let me open this up. 
I got a megaphone. Nice. So you can you can use that to chat in a big in a big chat. This is Oh, nice. So this gives you like a pet that actually uh it's it's a it's a duration on the pet, but it gives you like a health buff too or like a healing buff it looks like. I'm going to go it looks like on the map it shows you where there's different quests. Yes. I'm going to go to these different quests and make sure I pick up all these. Um, I do want to go hit the world again well, and go see go see what I can do. Oh, um, I see. Well, so I, I can like remote accept the quest. Uh, looks like. That's good. Great. I'm going to need a bigger bag. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> His quest. The quest that was called. I'm going to need a bigger bag. I got you. Then we have the map. Wow. This place is pretty, uh, it's pretty big. But let me go see if I can find out where to get oh. some new quest. That guy has a sick ability right there. I don't think I learned that one yet. What's the marketplace? Where's my level ups? Skills. Do I have any, any points to put in new skills? I think so. Oh, wow. So there's like different, uh, different trees within, um, these. So there's spell blade or speed blade. Okay. Marauder which is powerful AOE spells, and then you have Spell Sword, encourages a balance between offensive and defensive capabilities. Okay. And I can either upgrade this one. Uh, these are just my skills that I have, I guess. They're not upgraded yet. Meteor Crush, probably what that guy just used. Let's see. My, and my talents change a little bit, depending on which ones I choose. That's cool. Let's see. I, don't, I haven't learned any of these yet. I don't know if I, I don't even know if I've unlocked them yet. We'll have to just keep leveling and see what we can do. All right, let me, let me go get this other quest first. But yeah, so far it's pretty cool, man. I like the vibe of this game for sure. And like I said, the, gra the graphics are a little bit on the cartoon side, but I like that. Oh, okay, so this is just like one of our one of our first little beaches. Do, do I have to kill these guys for my quest, maybe? Looks like I have to destroy this. Okay, yeah. So it just gives you like a little idea of your quest. My, my, and my quest log is, is right there in the, in the top, uh, or in sort of the right side of my screen anyway, so it's not like a super hard call <laughs> of what to do. I'm curious if I auto run with it, but it actually does. Will it just sort of take me to, uh... yeah, so it took me to where I needed to go. So once I'm, once I'm in the zone of where I'm supposed to go, that's good. So if you're like me and you don't always read quest text, <laughs> but you do want to actually do your quest to, to progress, then uh, it'll t it can take you to where you need to go. This poor little hermit crab's just getting AOE down, oh my gosh. They give you the XP. I, I guess those are like neutral mobs, and then like once I start hitting them, they get they get aggressive. You, you can see the little uh, exclamation marks above their heads. So there's level seven, which means I'm, I've probably learned this thing. Wow. Okay. That that has a cooldown on it, but it's pretty pretty beast in the last. I gotta go kill another little palisade there. Let me let me auto run there too. Just find me another one. That's a neat feature. <laughs> it says take me. Okay, it's, it's taking me over here again. That's fine. And it, and it does show you on the map where you're supposed to be going. So even if you want to run there yourself, you just click auto run. It's like, okay, that's where I go. That's cool. Chocolate from Hermit Crabs. Sorry, guys. Sorry, Hermit Wow, he just fell off the edge. Was that his corpse or was that an actual... I, he probably was dead at the time. I love the physics in games like this where you kill something and it just like goes flying. Boom! <laughs> All right. So we've completed one of them. Open daily tasks. Let me see. These are my daily tasks. Alright. So you have a bunch of different things that you can do for logging in daily, which is cool. And I gotta speak with this guy at the beach. Maybe I'll, maybe I'll auto run to find him. Okay, so he's like off, all the way off in the distance here. Cool. Boom. Let me just destroy these guys real quick. So, in this game, it does seem like you're gonna be... You know, able to able to go through different zones, but a lot of what you're going to be doing is still quest driven, which kind of gives you some direction to your you're game. Always welcome here. Many thanks. All right, let's complete this. Many thanks. I'm completing a bunch of quests right now, making that cash, money, and XP. All right, so we need to go. Actually, I can complete this remotely. Get this one done. Let's go repair some fishing nets, and then we'll, I get we'll, that we'll kill some guys on the way. This auto run feature is nice, man. <laughs> it sort of takes you through the world a bit. And it lets you know where you're supposed to go. I see. Okay. And then and it also has the little um little icons above the above, above the enemies you're supposed to be killing. 
So this game isn't really trying to make you think too hard, I don't think. I think it's allowing you to be like, alright, I just want to go in there and smash some stuff. And when I play a game like this, an action RPG, that's exactly what I want to do. I just want to go in there and smash stuff. And I, and I appreciate that feature. For me, it's just going to be like, okay, okay, I don't want to read your quest text. I just want to get to the get to the action. I appreciate that. But it does still have some some quests where you come over here and destroy, you know, destroy fishing nets or things like that. Or repair fishing nets, you know, just interacting with your world. That's fine. Let's do this. Now I got to go defeat this guy. Let's just waddle over here. Pardon me, sir. That guy looks like he's one, one of the, one of the sort of, uh, roguey type, Castlevania type characters that I thought looked cool. So I don't have the tag on these mobs, so you can't you can't just help people kill mobs. It looks like you do actually have to have the tag on it in order to do so, but that's fine. You do kill things pretty quickly, at least at this point. And I, I imagine that would sort of continue as you keep getting your gear. And I I think that obviously mobs will become more difficult, but there are also going to be things I can see uh, where you would want to run things with a party, like when you actually get to other dungeons. I wonder if I'll be able to get to a dungeon uh, relatively soon and see what happens. I just can't help myself by killing stuff. <laughs> the, the combat style is, is fairly straightforward, but it does feel fun. It does feel like you can definitely kick some butt. Alright, so I, I guess that this is where the guy will spawn. Uh, somebody probably already killed him. Oh, here he is. I did learn Meteor Crush. I'll, I'll crush him right now. Boom! So I'm, I'm trying to figure out what, what the point of that charge is. Because it doesn't seem to do like a lot of damage. I'm not sure if it stuns. It just kind of just, just lets me crash through his zone, I guess. Oh wow, he summoned a bunch of dudes. Sorry if I took your tag there. Wow, that guy did a lot of damage. Let me grab that cash money. Alright, auto run back to where I'm supposed to go. I'm good to go. It says, oh, say, so there's also a 3v3 in this game. Can I queue for that? If I can queue for arena, like, I know I will get stomped, but I at least, it'd be cool to at least try. Let's see, you can't, you can participate in PvP instances where they're open, and certain instances you automatically awaken, while others let you use regular class abilities. So, I don't think I can do this yet. I wonder what level it actually unlocks. Because PvP seems like it'd be pretty fun in this game. It, I, I definitely think it'd be a lot of stick and move kind of stuff, but I also wonder if it, it would be like, uh... You're always welcome here. If your if your gear would actually matter, so like you can walk in there with super good gear and just kick butt, that'd be pretty cool. But at least in the beginning, the the gameplay seems pretty smooth, man. I like the graphics. I like the 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 skill tree is something that looked like I definitely need to learn more about it before I actually get my skills going there. But would be pretty cool either way. So it's, it seems like a pretty cool game to check out, guys. So far, I mean, it's it's one of those games where you just walk around and kick some butt, and I definitely uh, I definitely enjoy games like that. It, but it lets you go out in an open world a bit. I bet, you know, we, we already, the very beginning of it was kind of going through a dungeon. It seems like you get loot upgrades fairly often. It seems like there's other players running around in the same in the same instances as you. So it does seem a little, a little bit like an MMO um, style where you have a lot of people playing all at the same time, even if it's within, like, housed within an action RPG uh, game type, which is pretty cool. And I'm glad that you guys recommended me check this out. And I'm also glad that, that uh, the guys from Davillion wanted to give me a chance to check it out and give you guys some giveaways. So once again, the giveaways, all you got to do are give the video a thumbs up, be sure to subscribe to the channel, and leave me a comment. Let me know which class you play in this game or would like to play and why. And we'll give you guys uh, a chance to win. Ooh, nice. I got a couple different pieces of loot. And we'll give you guys a chance to win um, some cool cosmetic devil wings in this game and a 50% uh, experience boost for a couple days as well. I'm going to run around and do a few more of these quests just to see what's going on. But I don't want this video to get too long. But this game is pretty cool. I'm going to have to stream some of this too just to see what you guys think. But uh definitely want to make a video for you guys too. Give you guys my initial impressions. My initial impressions are good. This seems pretty fun so far. And I, like I said, I wish I had more games like this when I was uh, younger. <laughs> some nice free-to-play hack and slash, smash them up kind of games. This is a lot of fun for me. Ooh, baby. Yeah, there's plenty of quests to do, and it does. It, it feels like it's leading me, leading me to them fairly quickly. There's not like a gigantic map, even though there, there are mounts in this game too. I saw there was one guy riding around a mount when we first got here. I want to find me a, I want to find me a big mob to kill. I definitely want to see what other skills this guy gets. But it seems like there's plenty of classes to play uh, that that fit your play style, because it seems like even though there's four classes baseline 
you have a lot of different builds within those classes that you could uh, that you could use to fit your playstyle. So that guy's definitely chucking out a lot of uh, ranged abilities, even though he's kind of a melee character. I would think of him as, but you know, he gets to do his thing. What's this guy? So we got to kill some shamans. There we go. Warriors killing shamans, man. Nothing new about that. I guess we can turn this one in. Ooh. We'll turn this in real quick, and then we gotta go kill the other big boy. Let's auto run there. I love this feature, man. I just kick back and talk to you guys while uh while we get to go find the quest. It's also kind of hard to get lost when you have an auto run feature. I would imagine. I'm, I'm gonna turn around and kill these guys actually. I'm gonna drop the hammer on them. I got some cool like chakram style weapons there too. All right, let's see if I can get there before this guy, so he doesn't kill my mob. Charge forward. <laughs> Ooh. We're getting to some other mobs over here. Some new, some new stuff that we haven't seen yet. Ah. That's a big boy. Let's take him out. He's got his little cronies. His cronies are gone. Woo! I do like that little dodge mechanic. That's fun. I'm just going to tear this guy up now. I guess I can use my little charge to get out of stuff, too. There we go. Let's get some Pale Moon Gauntlets. Those might be an upgrade. Oh, yeah, they are. Nice. I do have to look at my character and find out what, what all the little... Uh, st Ooh, I, you, you can just farm this guy, I bet, huh? If you wanted to. I wonder if he drops more the, more green gear for me. So if you want some gear hookups early on in the game, just come over here and kill this guy a bazillion times. I pulled a other dudes. I'm really not scared of these mobs at this point, though. I'm feeling pretty powerful. Got him. All right, he didn't drop me loot again. I'm not going to sit here and farm him forever. But we can auto run back to the quest start. Awesome. All right, dudes. So in terms of my first impressions about this game, it looks really nice. It seems like there is definitely some room to uh, customize your character in terms of your talents and whatnot, playing a character that you like. Um, the gameplay seems smooth. It seems fluid. It doesn't seem, at least in the beginning, it doesn't seem too crazy difficult, but I know that it'll, it'll ramp up as you go along. But, I mean, for me, when I play a game like this, like an action RPG hack and slash kind of thing, I'm just looking in, to get in there and kick butt and... That's pretty much what this game allows you to do. There are quests to go along, so you're not just only running through, uh, you know, dungeons kind of aimlessly. You have quests to follow. You have, even nicer than that, you have this auto run feature, which helps get you around the world, so you know where you're going. All that's really, really fun. So, Davillion for me, definitely a game that if you guys are liking the action RPG genre, definitely give it a shot. And uh, like I said, if you want to win those uh, those Devil Wings and uh, experience boost, be sure to leave me a comment give the video a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel as well but uh once again guys thank you so much for watching thanks to davillion for reaching out to me about checking out this game definitely seems like a lot of fun hope you guys enjoyed the video check out davillion and i'll see you guys next time peace